Welcome back to John Codes, everybody. I imagine that being way cooler in my mind. Welcome back to John Codes, everyone. I'm John, and on this channel, we talk about tech, engineering, life, productivity, all of it. And today, I'm gonna answer a question that I've heard a little bit, and it is, what do senior software engineers actually do? I think it's obvious that software engineers write a lot of code, they create products, but what's the distinction between a normal software engineer and a senior software engineer? Sometimes they might be referred to as tech leads or staff engineers. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about my experience with other engineers, but also my experience leading teams and being a tech lead. So without further ado, let's go. Now, big caveat to this, this is just my personal experience with just really a few companies, and this doesn't really blanket the entire industry. It will vary widely from company to company. But in my experience, this is generally what you can expect from seniors on your team or what you can expect when you become a senior software engineer. So like I said, number one, probably the thing that senior tech lead staff engineers do the most is actually write code. They're responsible for being a part of the engineering team and writing code, contributing to the project, creating PRs, whatever that looks like at your company. That's what tech leads and senior software engineers are doing. So these senior software engineers write code and contribute code to the code base, but this could also mean pair programming with other team members on their code and helping them on things that maybe they're stuck on or ramping up new members of the team. Usually pair programming in my experience is probably the easiest way to ramp people up on a new project. And oftentimes that's the best way that I can help as a tech lead people ramp up on new projects. Now, kind of along with that, tech leads and senior engineers will be doing a lot of review and management of the code base. They'll be doing PR reviews, they'll be doing maintenance reviews, they'll be managing the actual repos and access to them. And in my experience, that really is something that kind of becomes kind of a chore in a sense. You know, when a new member joins the team, usually it's my responsibility to onboard them, add them to our GitHub team, add them to our GitHub repos so that they have access to all this stuff. That way they can get going quickly and start contributing as fast as possible. The review methodology is different at a lot of different companies. Some companies don't even do pull request reviews, but oftentimes it's the job of senior engineers to read and review those pull requests before they actually make it into the code base. A funny thing you might hear as you continue up the ladder of seniority in engineering is really you start writing less and less code the higher up you go. And this is kind of a symptom of that. You're not writing as much code here when you're reviewing pull requests, but it is contributing in a big way. I kind of mentioned this before, but another big part of being a senior engineer is mentoring other team members and enabling them. Especially when new people come onto the team, it's usually your job to help them get going and help them get set up so that they can become a contributing member of the team as quickly as possible. This can also mean having one-on-one -on -one meetings with team members. This may be helping them out on tracks of work that they're stuck on, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're their manager. And again, this is different from different companies, but in my experience, if you're a senior engineer on a team, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna be their people manager, but in a sense, you will be their engineering manager, where you're helping them manage their code stories and manage their integrations with the project itself. Senior engineers also have a really big part to play when it comes to product and what the code base actually becomes. Senior engineers will write and contribute to a lot of design and product docs, and those documents really become the backbone of products. Teams very rarely go out and just start coding things without having talked about them first. And usually that starts with the product manager, maybe one of the organization leaders, and the senior engineer on the team. Next, senior engineers are really the catalyst for new projects. Most of the time when I've gone on a new project, it's already either been staffed with a senior engineer or I'm the senior engineer going onto that team to basically start it out. And the trickle effect starts to kind of happen from there. You'll help onboard new members, you'll help to mentor them, you'll start making contributions and reviewing those other team members' contributions as well. This can also mean that some engineers in their free time experiment with open source software or their own ideas to create new and interesting products and projects for their organization. 
Senior engineers are also responsible for communicating that success, communicating team well-being to the leadership and enabling the leadership to provide you with the resources you need to make your team as effective as possible. And finally, I think one of the most important things that senior engineers do is they help to plan work out. Usually a lot of teams follow some kind of agile methodology and with agile methodology, you have an iteration, maybe a week or two. And over that period of time, you set a number of stories in the backlog. Usually it's the product manager and the senior engineer on the team that come together, plan out what's gonna be in the backlog for that week, and then present that plan to the team. And then the team can ask questions and you can collaborate and, and change things as needed. But it starts with the product manager and the senior engineer on the team usually. So really, I think you can break down what senior engineer tech leads do for a team, sort of in the engineering and also the product. Engineering wise, they're responsible for the engineering aspect of the team, making sure that contributions are quality, making sure that reviews are done, making sure that people are getting their stories done and contributing to the project itself. Then on the product side, you're contributing to the product direction. You're contributing to making sure that the leadership is involved and knowing what's going on on the team. So really, I think that being a tech lead, senior engineer on a team is a really important role and sort of creates the backbone for a team, especially on the engineering side. I've seen products live and die based on their senior engineers. And I think that it's a really exciting role to be in. I think the question that follows this one is, how do I grow my skills to become a senior engineer? How do I grow my skills to become a tech lead? And really, I think there's a few ways that you can proactively do that. One, you can start looking at the product overview of your team. Don't just look at individual commits that you're making. Don't just narrow in on the tree. Start to take a step back and look at the greater forest. Look at how your team and your code base and your project fits into a wider ecosystem of things at your organization and start to bring up discussions and ideas and things that you start to see from taking that step back to see kind of the wider view. Two, you can ask to be mentored by a senior engineer. I think most people in engineering would be more than happy to take somebody under their wing and help them along in their career and grow. Three, you do need to be an excellent technologist and able to express your ideas in code, but also do it elegantly and in an efficient manner. I think that this is an area that a lot of engineers excel at, but the other product focus part of it where you're looking at the product and how it fits into the organization and sort of the people part of that is something that people miss. So yes, be really excellent at coding and be an incredible technologist, but also don't forget the people and the product and the organization side of it as well. I hope you found this video informative. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have a question you wanna see answered, I have a Google form in the description and I will catch you next time.